All right, folks, there is a new wave of calls for Congress to get back to work and approve a new round of hurricane relief funding. We've been talking about that all week. We reported yesterday that the Small Business Administration is out of funds for new loans, and the pressure is mounting. Let's bring in congressional correspondent Scott McFarland, who's live in Washington, D.C. for us this morning. Uh, so, Scott, where does this all stand right now? This is an emerging problem, and it's the government's version, Vlad, of standing up and pulling the pants pockets out and showing there's no money left in here. We are plumb out. The Small Business Administration's disaster loan program gives money up front, very low-cost loans to homeowners, businesses who have damage from hurricanes and natural disasters. They have burned through all the money they had available with Hurricane Helene and Hurricane Milton. And they say, without Congress coming back here to appropriate, to provide more money, they have stopped issuing loans, even though there are still needy people from the hurricanes and potentially more natural disasters to come. But congressional leaders have resisted these calls to come back here and set aside new money, and they continue doing so today. In a statement to CBS News, the U.S. House Speaker said the Biden administration has money available, potentially money it can move into these accounts to keep the loans going. The Small Business Administration says otherwise. So here we are, Vlad. We have a standoff on this issue. And until further notice, until at least mid-November, no new loans will be issued. I think it's just it's just remarkable to me um, that that members of Congress, I don't care which party they're uh, a member of, would look at uh, the face of the destruction caused by these hurricanes and say, you know what, I got better things to do in my district. Uh, the people who are suffering now are going to have to wait until November. Um, and is there so there's is there anything, Scott, um, you would know better than I that could compel Congress to return and do the business that they need to do to help the American people in their districts? That's a really good question. First of all, let me underscore, this is a bipartisan dynamic. There are members of Congress from both parties in those hurricane-impacted states saying, please come back, let's all come back, let's fix this for our constituents. And it's worth reminding folks that the House is controlled by Republicans, the Senate is controlled by Democrats, neither side's coming back. So this is a bipartisan issue, not single party. Can something be done? Yes, Congress, after Hurricane Katrina, back in 2005, was able to pass some emergency aid without bringing everybody back to town. There are some simple ways to do this by unanimous consent. But at this point, with politics the way they are in 2024, not a lot of optimism. Congress will do anything by unanimous consent, even something as important and simple as this. Uh, unbelievable. Uh, Scott McFarlane, excellent reporting, my friend. Thank you very much. Appreciate you.